Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, the founder oh, of the Brooklyn <laughs> Hip Hop Festival, Wes Jackson. Good morning, sir. The upsides historically, I think, in the struggle, certainly the black struggle, is the art that comes out of it. I want to just spread the, the aspects of hip hop culture that can be used for positive change. To balance out some of the negative perceptions that you may see if you only look at hip hop through one particular corporate angle. I've always been working for myself, trying to contribute what I can for the culture, for the business, and advocacy of hip hop. And Jay Latronica is somewhere off in a cave writing the manuscript. You can't ever find him. And they told me that's never going to happen. I said, that's cool for you to think that. That's what you think. But I've already talked to Crazy West, and we've already decided this is going to happen. When I was in grad school, I, I wrote a thesis about how graffiti, as we know it, was the first social network. You're writing a private message in a public space, you burn down my phone line. Well, I still got to communicate. And De La Soul um, uh, plugged to me every morning. That's how I got out of bed. And to see Rakim stop what he was doing and give me a hug, it's like, yeah, I'm done. Like, I don't need anything else. But who has the passion to eat $30,000? Who has the mental fortitude to pull themselves out of a deep depression? Who has the strength to kick him out the room when he's saying no to my idea? Um, but that idea of, I'm, I'm going to help produce this incredible moment for these thousands of people in here. And that's my function. If you can just stay focused on that internal energy and understand what makes you great and what that sense of liberation, you can begin the process of your dreams becoming reality. And that's what hip hop has given to me and I hope that is uh, what it can give to you guys who are checking this out.